Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in this half note planner that I purchased from Amazon for $6.99. Remember I said I was going to do today, I was going to re kind of purpose it following uh, Hillary over at Creative Faith and Company. This turned out so, so you'll see it in the future. I hope to do a uh, revisit of this, but this is really, really cute. Once again, I paid $6.99 for it. So I'm going to try to repurpose this to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money on planners, but you can spend a few dollars just to see if this is something you want to do. Now, I've never worked in a half planner before, and it's kind of odd and kind of struggled with it a little bit, but we'll see how it turns out. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. And I'll also be covering my TN, my new TN for 2021. Before I speed up the video, I just wanted to show you some of the things I'll be using today. I'll be using this I think it's like a multi-edge ruler. I saw Sonia over at My Happy Space use it and I really liked it. You just put the paper against it and tear it and it takes the shape of the edge of the ruler, which I think is really cool because it gives you that torn, that torn but controlled edge. And then this is my 2021 TN that I'm going to cover. That's the 2021. I loved doing it and a lot of reflections in it and thoughts and encouragements concerning COVID. And I really enjoyed working in it. So I wanted to start one for 2021. Are all of these things necessary? Absolutely not. Do not let what I do make you feel like you have to do these things. One, I like to try different things. Two, I like to switch it up a little bit because sometimes you want to Bible journal. Sometimes you just want to do art journaling. Sometimes I want to be in a notebook. Sometimes I want to be in the TN and or a devotional journal book like those uh, 100 Day Promises. So I like to have a lot of different things that I use at different times. I don't use every single thing every single day, just only where I feel led to. And this is the TN that I got from Vin Von Ali and I put some of my TNs in it. So it's a great place to hold it and I still have plenty of room. I just need to know from you guys who are TN people, can I add strings to this if I need to, to put more books in? So I don't know how that works. But anyway, I'm also going to be using elements from Ella Ruitz. I'm using some kits that I haven't used. Uh, I have a bunch of Ella Ruitz kits and a lot of the Faithful Heart kits. I'll be using those kits all over the place. I decided to use this black and white from Ella Ruitz, I really like it, and it's my soul longs for you, oh God. And I thought that would be great opening for a 2021 TN because that's what my desire is. My soul longs for the Lord, for his word, for his presence, for his leading in my life. And she's just reaching up to the heavens and reaching out for God. And I think it's so beautiful. And it's black and white, so it's really kind of dramatic and with a nice little color background. And that'll be it. Thank you for watching, and remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Here's where I attempt to use the edged ruler and I'm trying to decide obviously which one I want to use and I want to use this one. I thought that the TN would look nice with some kind of stark white contrast on the, what color is that? That light blue, aqua blue page and then the elements are black and white so I wanted it to kind of like have a nice contrast and also complement the elements on the page but I wanted to keep it simple and cute so I hope you like it but I know I like it so I guess that really that's all that really matters that I like it aesthetically and it works for me These flowers are also from Ella Ruitz. I forget which kit it was, but I just printed out the single flower and I printed out a bunch of them and left them. I think they were already in black and white, yes. And I decided to pop them behind the young lady on the page. So the flowers are from a, 
from a different kit I just can't recall and I decided to cut out the word Lord from my Cricut machine and I used like a black and white cardstock that was in my stash and then I also cut out this little um, marquee kind of thing right there Now that I look back on this, I think I want to put something along the edge where that white is. It's very white, so I may put some like some kind of washi tape there. Here is a picture of the kit. It's hard to see because I'm on my phone. I didn't have my iPad near me, but it was a bunch of girls that came with it. So I printed out a couple of girls and everything that could go wrong went wrong. I am not a fan of how this turned out. Hers looked so nice. I think my problem is the half sheets are so long and I used one long doll from her shop and I love these dolls. I think I need some smaller stickers or medium sized stickers. I also cut out some stickers from Praise and Pray. The bottom little embellishments that I use, they're from Praise and Pray and I printed them in black and white to match the kind of blue and gray and I think I think I may keep the girls one day and then maybe this is where a good sticker book comes in handy. Get a sticker book and add the stickers there. So I'm going to keep playing around with it because I believe it can work and maybe it'll look a little better once I write down my thoughts, you know, to kind of fill in that space. As you can see, there's some space where, um, some places where I whited out the days and things like that. So. I don't know and now she was daily she was journaling every day I can't do that I won't there's not a lot of events that's going on in my life that I need to document something every day but there are certain things that happen uh, key things that happen that you don't need to journal in your Bible I don't need to put them any place but just to record the thought I'm going to link her video down below she changed the dates to every day I'm not changing it to every day. I'm just going to use those little circle date uh, numbers. She has different colors. I just bought a set and it came with a lot of different nice colors. I'll just use that and just use the day that I'm actually writing on. Like, like this page right here will be day one, which would be January 1st, and then day six, which would be the Capitol Hill thing. And then I'll do another page, maybe I'll come up with something a little better than this page and do something that transpired today which is January 12th. Just when things happen I can document it. I wasn't going to post this because it was so bad but I'm going to keep working with it and I'll show you guys an updated one soon. Thank you for bearing with me during my planner palooza. Bible journal video coming up tomorrow.